so here we will uh, look about transduction so transduction is a genetic recombination method so it is a method of horizontal gene transfer means dna from one bacterial cell enters into uh, other bacteria which is of the same generation so but this transport of dna will happen with the help of a virus particle so we call this virus particle that helps in the transport of genetic material from one bacterial cell to another bacterial cell as transducing phases so remember transducing particles or transducing phases or the virus particles that are uh, which play a role in transporting the dna fragment from one bacterial cell to another bacterial cell so these transducing phases are of two important types generalized transducing phases and specialized transducing phases generalized transducing phases they carry out generalized transduction specialized transducing phases they carry out specialized transduction an excellent example of generalized transducing phases is phase p1 uh whereas lambda phase is an good example of specialized transducing phases now let us discuss more about generalized transduction so in this generalized transduction the basic point to be highlighted is only bacterial dna only bacterial dna fragment will be transported from one bacteria i mean from the donor bacteria to the recipient bacteria so what exactly happens in this generalized transduction so consider a bacterial cell and uh, whenever a virus particle infects a bacterial cell uh so the black one represents bacterial genome and uh, blue color represents viral genome so the virus particle uh, infects the bacterial cell it injects its genome into the bacterial cell so this genome i mean the viral genome produces certain nucleases especially exonucleases which have the ability to cleave the bacterial dna into several fragments okay and also this viral genome undergoes replication it makes many a copies of the viral genome along with this it also makes many a copies of the coat protein uh, required for uh, the formation of new fast particles now usually what happens is the viral genome must be packed into the viral protein coat so that a new virus particle will be generated sometimes what happens is these fragments of bacterial dna may get packed into viral protein coat during the assembly of virus particles miss packing of virus particle can occur which means uh, the bacterial dna fragment instead of viral genome may get packed into the viral protein coat now this fast particle we call it as a generalized fast particle so why we call this as a generalized fast particle because uh, as i told you the dna of the bacterial genome can be cleaved into many fragments so any of these fragments any of these pieces of dna have the chance to get packed inside the viral protein coat hence we call this as generalized transduction now what happens so once uh, the packaging is done once the assembly is done these virus particles are going to lyse the bacterial cell and they come out this is what usually happens during the lytic cycle of 
the virus particle so in this we also have uh, the virus particle in which bacterial genome is present we we call this as a transducing phase generalized transducing phase now this fast particle can go and infect a new bacterial cell a new bacterial cell when such fast particle uh, infects a new bacterial cell it injects the bacterial dna you it is having the bacterial dna it injects the bacterial dna okay once it injects the bacterial dna since this is bacterial dna it gets incorporated into the bacterial genome this is the genome of uh, the new bacterial cell and this is the fragment injected by the virus particle so this fragment can now it just goes and gets incorporated into the uh, bacterial dna since this is only the bacterial genome but not the viral genome so this cell cannot produce uh, fast progeny so this will not undergo lysis nor it produces fast progeny because this is having only bacterial genome but not the viral genome so this gets integrated within the bacterial genome and uh, and it adds new properties to this uh, bacterial cell which received this uh, dna fragment how this can add new properties say for example the gene that that is transferred say it is important for leucine synthesis we know leucine is an amino acid and this fragment of dna is important for leucine synthesis and say this bacterial genome i mean our uh, new host cell is not having the genes for leucine synthesis now because of entry of this uh, leucine synthesizing a gene so now this bacterial cell now it will gain a new property of leucine synthesis from now so this is all about generalized transduction